Hey everybody, this is Michael from Crane Painting in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Um, we're uh, come on, man. <laughs> there we go. That's me. Don't mess with the editor. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a little uh, how-to today on uh, powder glaze. Um, what we've done is we've taken a, a base color here, which is a Venus teal, and we've gone ahead and powder glazed it with a, a certain product that we're going to put here. Um, and we find we can get some really amazing effects with it. Uh, regular glaze can be a pain in the butt sometimes, open time, working it exactly the way that you want to. Um, we've got a waterborne product that allows us to achieve uh, really cool results. Um, you know, we've got, uh, we've, got a, we've got a blue here that we've done. Um, We've got uh, this one's uh, the Venus teal as well, um, all with the same powder glaze. Um, I think we have a white one coming up here soon too. There we go. We've got that too. So it can give you an antique, the distressed look, or not distressed, but a you know heavily glazed look. Um, or you can take it back. Uh, you can really do what you want with it and play with it. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Michael from Crane Painting in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Uh, we've got a little project that uh, we don't normally do here. Um, we're going to be taking one of our cabinet finishes and we're going to apply it to, uh, to this here, uh, this barn door. Um, this goes on sliders. This is going to get a, uh, a teal color uh, with some powder glaze. Um, we're only going to glaze it on one side because that's all they want. Um, that's okay, but the whole door is going to get... What we have right now is a raw uh, pine, uh, clear pine door. Um, what I've done is I've gone through with my fest tool. What I've got here... I just like using this. We use it a lot for cabinet doors. This is the DTS 400. Uh, we've sanded it down to 240 grit sandpaper. Uh, this is brand new out of the box, so we didn't really have to degrease it or anything like that like we would normally do with cabinetry. Um, it's already been in someone's house. So brand new, fresh. Uh, we're going to make sure uh, it's the dopest door in town. So bear with me. All right, so here we have the, the raw door. Um, this still has the plastic film on the windows on both sides, and we decided to leave that on there because why wouldn't we? Uh, we still did mask it off because, I don't know, I don't trust other people's work. So uh, we masked it off, sanded it, primed, um, and then we went ahead and started applying our color coats from there. Uh, the color coat for this uh, was actually a, a bare color, um, Venus Teal. But we, of course, got that in general finishes and dual poly satin, um, and uh, went from there. Video time. All right, um, we're back. We've primed. We've got two coats of color on both sides. I got one side that's being a pain in the butt. It's all good, though. Um, clients ain't number one, so we're golden. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, we are only going to do one side here. Um, with the glaze because that's the side that's going to be pointing out towards the bedroom. That's what she wants. So just do what she wants. We're going to be spraying it with uh, Exalta um, or Zenith Waterbone Powder Glaze. So we're going to spray this all on and then we're going to come back and take it all off with a Scotch Bright Pad. Um, it's a great product. Uh, you can, it's a powder glaze so you can get a really cool, unique uh, look to it. Um, and I really like the product. So uh, that's it. We're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, because I forgot to take video of half the damn process, I can say damn, this is my channel. Um, <clears throat> here's just uh, me doing this on this sample door uh, uh, that looked awesome. Um, so we're just spraying the powder glaze on. Um, if I had to do it all over again, I would just do the whole thing, uh, spray the whole thing with powder glaze, and uh, just be done with it, not have some strange rectangle in the middle, because uh, that did look a little goofy. So keep that in mind. Got to make some omelets to break an egg or something like that. <laughs> so what we did here, or what I did, was I tried to leave a little bit of the, uh, the bluish green or the Venus teal, whatever it is, in the middle um, so that it didn't get everywhere. What we're going to do is once this dries, we can come through with a Scotch-Brite pad and take this powder glaze off and it'll just rub right off. Um, it's very nice. It's a waterborne product. It dries very quickly. Um, I love it. I, it just, it's new to me, so I was like, oh, this is great. Um, so that'll wash right off of that. We're gonna have this here in the middle. We don't wanna go too much glaze. Um, 
so we'll see how it turns out. But what I really should have done was leave this, leave the styles not done, but I had to set setting up my gun a little too wide. It's okay. There's no mistakes, only happy accidents. Okay, so the glaze is dried. Uh, it's been like a half an hour, an hour, or something like that. Um, and just don't do that. So as you can see, it's just very powdery. That's powder glaze. See, so this is gonna come right off. So this is just taking it off. Um, it comes off pretty easy. Um, parts of this were really rough, uh, and, and the thing is, it's just a scotch Brite pad. I think I'm using a 3M, maybe a fine finish one. I didn't use the green one because I didn't want to dig into it too much, um, but not the red 3M because I thought that took a little too long. Um, it just wouldn't work with the look that I was going um, for in this one. Uh, basically, uh, you just push down on it and it comes off. Uh, the more pressure you apply, the more that will come off. Um, and uh, we didn't want too heavy of a glaze, um, but here it is taking it off. I don't know what else to say to this. Okay, once we vacuumed everything off, I went ahead and applied a coat of uh, Enduro Clear Poly Satin. Just to give it protection, um, you have to clear coat this product. The reason that we clear coat uh, with any of our glazes is um, it needs to be protected. With this specific glaze, it's incredibly important because it being a powder glaze, it will just literally wipe off with your hand or water. Um, you know, it, it, it needs some protection there. Uh, this glaze is all Van Dyke Brown. Uh, they gave me, a, an Exalted dealer gave me a tester of it, uh, which was awesome. Uh, you know, we've gone here with a, a white dove base. Uh, this is just the Van Dyke Brown. All of these are just Van Dyke Brown. Um, here's the Venus Teal and some sunlight. Um, wicked hard to photograph this stuff. Um, what do we have coming up next? We have, uh, here's a Mozart Blue, uh, just with the glaze again. Here's a little different, I think, Venus Teal coming up. Um, a great product, um, and I hope this has been informative for everybody. Um, we just did this exact same thing on an island that turned out fantastic. All right, we hope this has been informative for everyone. Um, we've got the, the philosophy that we test as many products as possible to find the right thing for us and for our customers. Uh, that's why we could do so many colors. You know, I've tried out a lot of different products, um, just trying to, to get cool looks and, and things that work. Um, so hopefully we've uh, eliminated some <laughs> some needless product spending for you because um, i got a whole garage full of stuff that, I'm just testing. So I um, hope this was informative. If you can uh, like it, share it, subscribe, um, do all those things, um, help it uh, get out to more people, uh, we would really appreciate it. And we hope everybody has an awesome week.